What's going on everybody? It's your boy here to do a uh, recap for uh, Workout New York. I'll be honest, this gave me fuck more life and everything else than Real Housewives. So it is what it is. This is actually, it's probably not going to be a quickie. I feel like I can actually talk and converse about this. Okay. So uh, it starts out with uh, Lindsay. She talks to uh, Layla and pretty much is telling her that you know, she was like pretty much dead fucking wrong, more or less in her approach and how she came at uh, Joe, which I definitely have to fucking agree. And, you know, Layla feel and Layla's whole thing is like she feels like she's entitled to know shit about people's life. My whole thing is this when it comes to money. Yeah, money is a touchy subject for any fucking body. You feel what I'm saying? Just like even with me. I don't like talking about my motherfucking job. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and that's really no one's fucking business. What the fuck I do for a living? It's really no one's business, especially the finite details. You feel me? But even somebody start asking me, how much do I make a year? This and the third, like that's none of your business. You feel what I'm saying? Even if I have business visions on the side, <clears throat> I don't have to go into detail, and I don't have to tell you any fucking thing. She has this sense of, this sense of entitlement. Like I said on the last motherfucking uh, review. It's two motherfuckers that I, I can tell you right now. I don't see it for it. Layla is fucking one of them. All right. Uh, Holly, she has the hots for a girl named Audrey. Talk about that more. Courtney. Um, is ha uh, like I said, he's the other motherfucker that I don't see it for. But he is hosting a boot camp with his uh, clients. And he wants to uh, have the rest of the um, fitness instructors there. Now, what I get immediately from this, and y'all know I'm multitask, so excuse me. <clears throat> but what I'm getting from this is it's like, okay, he needs to sit here and stun. Like, that's all that I got is, okay, I'm going to sit here and stun for everyone. I definitely didn't fucking like that. It's just like, if they're going to be there, they're going to be there. But it's like, he's fucking stunning. Now, while they're doing the exercise, they go to doing partner-assisted uh, sit-ups, if I'm not mistaken. And Layla, <clears throat> instead of picking... J not Joe, not Joe, Jay, who is her boyfriend, and she picks Noah. And uh, Noah is like, he's kind of looking at, you know, Jay like, bruh, is this cool? Because I'm not even trying to overstep my bounds. And he's like, nah, it's good. And Leia Holding is like, you should be asking me, not him. And I I'm already, I'm just like, see, that's that fuck shit. And as she's doing the sit ups, you know, she's looking his direction, you know, saying to Noah, like, you know, I forget what the fuck she was saying, but something like harder, this, that, and third, whatever the case may be, making Jay feel very fucking uncomfortable. <clears throat> and, you know, Layla tries to give what I call a fucking lackluster apology, and Jay is not fucking having it. Here's the thing I wasn't fucking having it because I wasn't feeling the apology. I feel that that apology was straight another bullshit in my honest and humble opinion and you know she felt some kind of way she really did and um <clears throat> about him not truly accepting it and he walks away jay is done with it and i can respect the fact i can respect him not necessarily running away but leaving because you can see shit was starting to get a little bit too heated and of course you don't want to say and as men you know do the wrong fucking thing you know what i'm saying because shit's not good <laughs> and so joe finally rolls up <clears throat> and layla apologizes uh and uh courtney wants to know well, what the conversation was so he pretty much explains how you know her wanted to know what it is that i well not what it is i do for them but how i make my money <clears throat> and <clears throat> courtney starts to go in and it's just like why you know, like, also real shit, I think the only reason that Courtney is going in, because I think that he wants to fuck Noah, or wants Noah to fuck him. I'm being fucking honest. Again, I've already told y'all, on some real shit, it's bad when on the first fucking episode, you you get me to the point where I know I'm not going to fucking like you for the whole damn season. And again, Layla and Courtney are not helping me to fucking like them. So if it comes off like I don't like them. I have already said it. I fucking don't. And if they're watching this, then uh, yeah, y'all do not represent y'all self fucking nicely. Because if I can just hold on, y'all. Because I, I'm just saying. Because <clears throat> on some real shit, not many people watching. You know, workout and whatnot. I'm just saying, not many people fucking watching it. But you know, I did get a dislike. It might have been from one of their asses. I'm just saying. But I'm speaking the truth here. <clears throat> so Layla goes on to call Joe fake and she really didn't say fake but she was saying like i don't hang out with fake people this and the third and it's just like just because he is not <clears throat> telling all of his business to you does not therefore make him fake 
You feel what I'm saying? And she says she's an open book. It's something else open about her, but I don't think it's her being an open fucking book any fucking way. Joe makes it perfectly clear. We are colleagues. We are not friends. I nip out through my phone at my TV because one of which like I'm glad he said it because like if you look at the households and all the other motherfuckers, it's like oh if y'all in this group. Cause here's the thing, he understands <clears throat> we work in this circle, but we're also on this show. So let's not get this shit twisted. We are colleagues, acquaintances at best. That's all the fuck we are. We are not friends. Don't get this shit twisted. This shit is only for a motherfucking check, bitches. And I can I appreciate his fucking realness. I do. Mind you, I think that. I don't know. I, I like uh, any and I, I kind of let y'all know how I'm feeling about everybody. What else? So Noah booked a uh, gig to host like a GQ magazine type of van. Kudos to that motherfucker. Oh shit. Yep. No. So what? Oh hell no. I'm not doing that. Um. <clears throat> so Lena is uh doing a photo shoot and she invites Courtney more or less to be a prop. Now, the thing is, I mean, again, let's call it fucking spade a spade. Uh, apparently, Courtney is, and, and this is no shade in, in, no, in no way, shape, or form, but, you know, apparently he's a big deal in the New York fitness scene, so I can understand her wanting this person, you know, to help. It's almost like if somebody like Much Love or Ashley Miller or Forrest Rocks or Socialite Sandy, like, sat in on a video with me, you feel what I'm saying? It's, it's one of those things where it's just like, having somebody like that on camera with me yeah it's going to attract people they're going to want to try to check me out this that, and the third so it's like i understand what it is that she's doing you know what i'm saying like let me get a big name or a bigger name to sit here and kind of you know shed a little bit of light so you know i'm not hating on her for that but uh <clears throat> courtney decides hey i'm going to ask the other guys the more guys we have in this the fucking better I feel some kind of way about that, but he calls Noah. And Noah's like, eh, I don't know. Let me talk to you know. And he made it a a, um, a point to say that his father was Jewish, which I didn't catch anything. But after he said that, I did see the fucking tattoo on his uh, arm, and he has you know uh, Hebrew uh, you know letters tattooed on. So I'm just like, aha, aha. But, um, you know, again, and like I said, just because he's Jewish and everything, that's not necessarily mean that I'm going to like him, you know. But, again, we'll see. I'll let y'all know how I feel about everybody at the end. But y'all already know the two motherfuckers I don't fuck with, so it's already there. <clears throat> so, Joe and Lindsay have drinks, and Joe pretty much looking like if there's anybody in the group that he could possibly mesh with, it's probably going to be her. And I think he might mesh with Holly, too, maybe. Uh... Joe pretty much states that he had two moms, two dads. I kind of miss how that whole breakdown went because I was trying to edit the other video somewhat and kind of take notes and whatnot, so I didn't really catch that. But he said that the uh, men on his father's side of the family um, were all addicts to include his father, you know, called his family very redneck and whatnot, and that he wanted something different for his life. So, you know, he up and he moved, and it's one of those where his brother even encouraged him, don't look back. You know, if anybody try to shame you for trying to make something better of yourself, it means they don't love you. I'm saying that like, if that ain't a motherfucking word for all those in the motherfucking hoods and the ghettos, I, I hope y'all called it. That was a word. What else? So Holly uh, asked Audrey out on, well, to talk about, you know, photos and whatnot. You know, this is her way of trying to, of having a date, but it not really being a date, you know, like false pretenses if you will and she and she meaning uh, Audrey gets a uh, phone call from her boyfriend she's like oh my god this is my boyfriend and Holly's whole thing is my gaydar is off and she was like yeah I probably should have asked her if she was gay from the jump you think <laughs> so yeah that shit pretty much ended there <clears throat> back to Courtney so Courtney uh, Noah and Joel uh, meet up at a shoe shop uh, and you know Noah invites uh, the guys to uh, his event <clears throat> you know and you can just see it in Courtney's face like Courtney's just like oh my gosh here y'all go talking about y'all you know like I said he is thirsty for the fucking spotlight I tell you guys and Courtney asks if uh, they would like to do the shoot for uh, <clears throat> Lena Noah whole thing is you know it may affect his branding and Joe also agrees that it may affect his branding so it's one of those initial type of no type things but you know even though this was said later and I didn't hear them say this in a moment but more or less kind of uh, talk with Lena about it but it, it can affect their brand <clears throat> now with that being said I do understand that again if we go back to this whole YouTube thing 
with the names that I named, but yet I will use uh, Socialite Sandy as an example. Granted, she is off the chain. She is crazy. I fucking love her. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, hopefully I remember to leave like a link or something. So y'all, because she is funny as shit, but she does hauls, reviews, all that good shit, like a little shameless plug for her. And she really doesn't need it, but she is the shit. But, um, <clears throat> like, she has endorsements and whatnot. And, you know, if I say or do, like, same as if I'm very, very radical on this channel and I'm talking about some shit that could jeopardize, you know, the endorsements and whatnot that she has, even though it could be something as simple as just sitting on a video and just chatting up with me, that could destroy whatever future opportunities that she has or even what she currently has going on right now. So I can understand his whole thing is because <clears throat> if the people that is shooting the um, photos are of a different or even like a rival company than the company that endorsed me, it could look very bad for business, which I fucking understand. So, but of course, Courtney's not trying to hear that. But here's the main thing <clears throat> where, where Courtney fucked up is he should have never asked them. What should it, regardless of <clears throat> how these relationships go, if Lena, Lena, how, I think it's Lena, if she wanted the guys there, she should have therefore asked them. That way, it would have been no fucking middleman or whatever questions they had could have been answered. But because Courtney is is uh, inserting himself in something he does not need to insert himself in, it's causing further fucking issues. Moving on. So, Jay and Layla, um, long story short, she apologizes they make up. Because her whole thing is, you know, it's like her whole excuse for why she did what she did to Jay is it's Noah. To me, that makes that really doesn't fucking mean anything. And, you know, her whole thing is like, I'm a troublemaker, yada, yada, yada. You know how I am. And my whole thing is this. And if Jay is watching this, Jay, if y'all still together, I'm going to just say this. It is what the fuck it is. But if somebody is disrespecting you and mistreating you and if they're not valuing you the way that you should be valued, regardless of who the fuck they are and how the fuck they are, that is not something that you need to be in. And on, on a tangent right quick, if y'all watch Arrow, <sighs> Layla you know reminds me slightly of felicity in the face i'm just saying like whenever i see her and in certain angles and whatnot i think about felicity i'm just saying but yeah moving on so uh noah uh has his little uh, appearance thing holly layla and courtney are there now they're discussing amongst themselves the fact that um noah more or less joe did not want to help uh lena but they were really stuck on joe and you can tell that there's this disdain, but I swear there's probably some fucking sexual tension, more or less on Courtney's side when it comes to Joe. <clears throat> so Noah comes over, he asks the guys, well, he talks to them, goes back, then comes back like, wait, where's Joe? And Courtney decides that he wants to go in on Joe, who is not there, pretty much just saying that, you know, he talks down to people this and the third in reference to the whole Lena thing. And you know, I can understand why Noah was just like, well, I didn't do that. And I, I understood why he said that. But even though uh, Courtney didn't say this, he was pretty much trying to say a hit dog with Holland, meaning that if you if you feel some kind of way about what I said, then obviously you felt the way that you felt. Now, <clears throat> Holly's whole thing is that uh, Noah needs to not forget where he came from, meaning that, you know, if I'm not mistaken, if she, if I'm, hopefully I'm quoting her, not really quoting her, but paraphrasing correctly, that she had reached down to help him, for lack of better uh, phrasing. He need not forget his roots, but, you know, be willing to reach down to help somebody else out, you know, because again, in, in, in general, it's all about support and, you know, you give what you get. You know, if you keep your hand closed, you can't receive. Closed mouth don't get fed. You know, uh, read what you sow, karma, whatever you want to call it. And I get what it is that she's saying. But Courtney becomes to get a little hostile. And, you know, it took Holly to tell him, like, bro, calm this shit the fuck down. Now, what I will say is, even though Noah got mad because this happened at his place of business, I'm mad at Noah because you should, I'm not saying you should have checked him, but you should have checked that shit right quick. As soon as you see shit starting to go left and this is at your fucking event, messing with your dollars, your paper, your coins, your bread, bruh, you cut, you, you, you nip that shit in the bud. Just like, you know what, there's not the time or the place for us to be discussing this. We will discuss this later not away from it you know what i'm saying so i kind of fought him for that but that's all i got you guys that was uh 
Workout New York Season 1 Episode 2 So again y'all already know I'm not fucking feeling it for Layla and Courtney I'm going to reiterate that I think that <clears throat> I'm probably going to like Noah and Joe But I feel one of them is probably going to do something To piss me the fuck off And I do like Holly uh, it, It's something about her spirit Her energy that I do like uh, Lena I don't know with the first episode and how she came at uh, Joe, not really feeling her. Jay, eh, I don't, I don't know how I feel about Jay. Jay and uh, Lindsay, I'm gonna just put them in the same boat of I just don't fucking know. So is that everybody? I think that's everybody. <clears throat> and of course, Lindsay, even though I didn't talk about her, she's recovering from her, uh, you know, uh, uh, surgery. So that's it, you guys. That's all I got. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Hopefully, I gave y'all more on this one than I did on that last fucking video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that was piss poor, but it is what it is. 